In today's video, we're going to go over the installation of the 8.4 uh, Forcepoint Security Appliance Manager. This is actually on version 1.1 now. There was a version released earlier in 2017. That was version 1.0. If you haven't upgraded to 1.1, please do so. So the installation of the Security Appliance Manager is actually really simple. Um, you simply put the installer on the Forcepoint Manager server, uh, like you see here. Um, you want to initiate the installation after you've completely installed the Forcepoint Manager with all of its associated components like web, email, or DLP. Now, once you've done those steps, we can go ahead and, and begin this installation. We'll go ahead and right click and run as administrator. Again, as in the installation of anything Forcepoint, you always want to log into the server with the service account that you're using to install Forcepoint components. So you'll notice I'm using this generic account called service account. That's what I install all of my Forcepoint components as. So I also log into the server as that account when I'm executing the installation rather than doing you know, a shift, right click, and run that the installer as. So I'm going to go ahead and do run as administrator. Even though I'm logged in as an administrator, it's always a good idea all, to always right click and do run as admin. It just ensures no snags along the installation process. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. I agree with the subscription agreement. Everything looks good there. And I'm going to leave the defaults and just install. And it should be a relatively quick installation. All right, the installation is complete. Now it's asking to restart the Forcepoint web server service. So let me go ahead and close this out and we'll go ahead and do that. So yes, I do want to install, I do want to restart. All right, now the web server has been restarted. That's simply just the service that runs the underlying uh, web email DLP components. So that pretty much completes the installation. No restart of the full server is necessary. Uh, we'll just go ahead and hit close, and then we'll log in. All right, so I've opened a browser, and uh, I've navigated to the Forcepoint Security Appliance Manager uh, address, and it's going to be very similar to your Forcepoint um, Security Manager address, except you're gonna do forward slash CM forward slash at the end. And you you want to save both of these, um, both the login to your uh, security manager and to your security appliance manager. You probably want to save both of those in your favorites or your bookmarks uh, just so you can quickly get to them. Also some other advice, just uh, I always recommend saving all of the content gateway URLs for all your appliances in your environment uh, to your bookmarks as well uh, if you have web security installed. Just makes the accessing those uh, much easier and much quicker. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and log in as an admin and we'll just use the same password that we used on the Triton Manager. All right, and you can see that the manager was installed successfully. My, both of my appliance or, or appliances are showing up in the interface. Uh, you have basically full visibility into uh, the appliance, um, its hardware and its essential configurations or its initial configurations that you did right when you configured the appliance. Um, as this product matures, we'll be adding a lot more features around customization, API integration, things like that. So please be on the lookout. And that concludes this video on installing the Forcepoint Security Appliance Manager.